um, welcome uh, to the presentation tonight. I'm so glad everybody made it out. Flyers work, apparently. So, you know, speaking of flyers, there was actually a kid who came up to me and, and said that he was handing out flyers for this event at, on his college campus, and they, a policeman stopped him and said, you can't do that. There's a policy against that. We have a free speech zone and the, that you can, you can hand out flyers in. And the, I love what the kid said. He, he, said uh, he said, well, you know, I've heard about these free speech zones. I, I studied them in history class. I think they called America. <laughs> so, I, think he, I think he went on to hand out those flyers anyway. So good for him. And it paid off. Um, well, I'm, I'm Harlan Dietrich. I'm the owner of Brave New Books. <laughs> that, that little bookstore across the street that the FBI apparently wanted to blow up. So, you, if you don't, if you don't know what that, that what I'm referring to, please just Google what I just said, and you'll find out all about it. Uh, but uh, um, speaking of. Uh, uh, people that are on fire. That was a really bad segue, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over that and hope nobody noticed, but I guess they do now. But uh, I wanted to introduce somebody who just got back from the Continental Congress. He, uh, he, he really is on fire. I, I, I met this, this man early on when we opened up the bookstore. He was a, a young activist uh, at his college campus at Texas State, and he uh, he uh, really had a lot of energy, and it, uh, it showed in, in what he did after he graduate, graduated. He, he basically went on to, to, to found several different organizations. One is called TAG, Texans for Accountable Government. <laughs> and, he's, uh, and that group is fighting everything from, from fluoride in the city water this is where you're supposed to boo. Uh, to police fusion centers being set up in our city. Uh, he's also, uh, uh, of course, uh, everybody knows about the mandatory blood withdrawal that, uh, that is going on. And, and they're fighting vigorously to, to prevent the police from doing that. So uh, he's, he's really doing a lot for us in this city. And this is what I know G. Edward Griffin's message of, is about is about getting local power back and uh, and empowering our, our communities through action. And there's no better representative of that right now than John Bush. So please welcome him. And